Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing.com. I am fuck it, the fittest underdog guru using those intelligent tactics. Today guys, I want to talk about sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Okay, now we know that's not true, right? Sticks and stones, they'll they'll bang you up, they'll they'll cut you, they'll whatever, right? Um, they might break your bones, they'll hurt. Words hurt, okay? People, I don't think, value um, the the power that they wield with the power of the word, right? Now, like, all of us um, have instances in our lives that we can, like, play back and remember things that were said to us that were not the most nice or flattering things, right? Things that hurt our feelings, things that devastated us, that other people said. Now, your words carry power. This isn't so much um, this message about um, being strong when someone says something to you or offends you or tries to hurt you, but just taking accountability for your words, your actions, you know. Um, I've said many times many things that I, you know, wish I could take back. And somebody explained it to me well um, that if you were to say something to somebody, uh, in particular a female, because women have a, a mind that remembers every little thing that you say. And as a man gets older and hopefully wiser, he learns to watch his words more carefully, to take a second and then respond from a place of logic and not emotion because it's really hard if you can ever backtrack and make amends for the things you say. They may be forgiven, but God knows they will never, ever be forgotten. So remember that, guys. It's like this, taking a piece of paper, ripping it up, right? You have a handful of shredded paper and you throw it up in the air on a windy day. It's all over the place and that's it. So watch it, watch what you say. Your words carry a lot of impact and that should be flattering to you. You know, it's empowering to know that you have such power that you, you know, when you say something, I mean, what would you rather have? The things you say and, you know, when you're putting emphasis in something you're passionate about, having an impact in people's lives versus the alternative of nobody giving a rat's ass what you say, right? That's like me making two, three hundred videos and I get um, one or two views on, on those videos or no views, in fact. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm putting my heart out there, man. I'm really talking up, you know, my shit storms and everything, and no one really cares. That would suck. I'd rather have 50, 100, 100,000, hell, 2 million subscribers, whatever, and have five thumbs up, 500 thumbs down, and people are engaged, right? I'd rather have that. So that would be pow an example of powerful words that have an impact now, I didn't say it was a negative or a positive impact, but it has an impact. Um, to date, as of the making of this video, which is I think number 151 or so, um, my most viewed video so far has been the one with my shirt off. And I have a lot of negative comments, and I left them all up there. I think it's wonderful. Um, it's feedback. It's interaction. It's community. And I like that. So you can love me or hate me. Uh, you can tell me to dye this beard or shave this beard, whatever you want. Um, although, I will say next week, I'm going to be attending a wedding out of town. I will have a dyed beard, okay? And it's uh, just a special request, but I will be washing it out after because I like my gray. And I don't like the... the um, I don't know where this video is going, but anyways, I like the idea of my beard getting frizzy and like stuff just like sticking out, kind of like a wild man, right? Um, but that doesn't seem to be um, what a lot of people like to see it. I'm not sure how to, to go about doing that yet. So in the meantime, I'll keep it somewhat tame. So anyways, you guys, remember that lesson about sticks and stones breaking your bones Words will hurt you. Words will hurt others. So be careful with them, you know. You can share whatever you want to share with passion. You use profanity. I don't care. I use it. Um, but I try to be selective with it. And, um, you know, your words, let them have meaning. And believe what you say and say what you mean. Mean what you say, say what you mean. Something like that. All right, guys. 
off to the sunshine and to deal with life. I love it. Not as much gum today, too. You'd be proud. All right, guys. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you again soon. Watch your mouth.